often the first place to start is to look at your own life, to look at your own spiritual autobiography. You have been living with the faces of love for your entire lifetime. Sometimes you recognize them, sometimes you don't. And so you go back to moments in your childhood. You go back to those moments where you felt your own essence, those moments where you're deeply, deeply connected with someone where you felt love. Sometimes it's places. Sometimes you have memories of certain events in time. And suddenly you begin to see the faces of love in your own life in your own existence. Often we go through shifts in the experience of love in our lives. Sometimes there's losses. Sometimes death intervenes. Sometimes moments of crisis. And yet, somehow, love is there for us. Love finds us even when we have difficulty finding the faces of love show up in the early stages of our lives. And then as we begin to grow into the development of our own essence, they begin to show up outside of our own immediate experience. They reflect back to us, the faces of love that we know within, or perhaps we don't know within. Maybe they come to us as teachers, sometimes almost as angelic presence. And we move through the experiences of our lives, learning and beginning to understand and create who we are as beings of love. We move into the experience of integrating more parts of ourselves. It comes to us, often from beyond our minds. It comes to us reflected through others or through experiences in time, sometimes through synchronicities, moments that are unexpected or come as a surprise. As we mature in our awareness of love, we find often where we feel points of deep, deep connection. It's as if our souls have come home and found their own true love. Sometimes those moments last. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they seem not to. And yet once that is imprinted within our own being, it will be with us forever. We have found our homing signal. And life continues. Often we have things to learn in life, patterns that we will learn about or patterns perhaps to dissolve. Perhaps from this life, perhaps, who knows, even from other lives. And so it continues to emerge these experiences of growing and becoming and dissolving even the faces of love. We move into times of achievement, times of coming to know all that we are. So as you begin to look at your own life, begin to identify those faces of love in your own experience your own path in this lifetime. Begin to look for those beings that brought it to you clearly or brought it to you not so clearly. As you move through the times of your own emergence, find the ways that you saw yourself, that you imagined yourself, that you knew in some level of your being that you could become. And then 
begin to recognize your own points of genius, your own points of passion, your own points of commitment, and how you walked into the achieving of those points of love in this state.